Hi, I'm Chris. And recently a Japanese company, uh, Suizan, sent me a Ryoba saw and a Dozuki. Um, this video will take a look at the Ryoba saw and, uh, and some of its uses. And then uh, in the next one, we'll take a look at the Dozuki. <laughs> Let's get going on this thing. Let's start by looking at the physical specs of the saw. If you're new to Japanese hand saws, they cut on the pull stroke instead of the push stroke like Western saws. This allows the blades to be made of thinner steel for a smaller kerf. So the overall length of the saw is 23 and a half inches. The removable blade is nine and a half inches long and two and a half inches wide at the base with it just being over three inches wide at the top. With Ryoba saws, one side of the saw is for ripping and the other side is for cross cuts. So I reached out in social media and asked people what they'd be interested in for this video. And Frank had an awesome idea of showing what the saw could be used for. Let's start with that mystery lumber, otherwise known as pallet wood. From there I had some weathered walnut and oak that needed to be rough milled. One of the things I found when cutting this thicker wood is my western saw habits were causing the blade to bend on the forward stroke. With the western saw you're putting a lot of force on the forward stroke and not so much on the pull stroke. For those saws it's no big deal. The blade is at least two to three times thicker than this blade. With the Japanese saw you kind of have to think the other way around. The forward motion doesn't cut so you can gently push the blade forward and apply more pressure on the pull stroke. If you saw our last video, you would have seen me using this saw to cut the molding for the top of our kitchen cabinet. Another thing this saw can be used for is cutting long tenons. Alright, so what I'm going to do is not really fair. Normally I use uh, a new old stock 240 millimeter Nakaya Ryobi Nokogiri that costs at least twice as much as a Suizan. When I compared the two I noticed the shape of the blade is a little bit different. To finish out the tenon cutting test I did a side by side cut with the Nakaya and the Suizan actually did alright. When you compare it to the competition, the Gyokucho 9.5 inch saw, it's the same shape. So should you buy this saw? In my opinion, I'd say yes. I mean, if you're looking for a reasonably priced Ryoba, you know, that way you can start using Japanese hand saws in your workshop, this thing's under $30 shipped from Amazon. So if you're interested in some more background information, I wrote an article to go with this video. Suizan was really nice about giving me some pictures of their manufacturing plant, and I'd take a look at the history of the town where these blades are made. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. Barda's Shop Dog Cameo is next. If you want to see what's going on behind the scenes, check out our social media links in the description. <laughs> Get out there, make something, <laughs> and we'll see you next time.